Hello friends, Kelly here, and today is day 23 of Inktober. My prompt today is jackets, which of course is right up my alley. I love drawing clothes, and so we're gonna draw some cool jackets. Um, I personally have a jacket problem in the sense that I love buying jackets, and then I have so many jackets that I can't use them all all the time. So. I have to keep myself from buying jackets and sweaters uh, because they are my weakness when I am out shopping. It is crazy. Um, but when you're drawing clothing, um, I know it can be a challenging thing for a lot of people. And it, and remember, like it was challenging for me at a time too. And sometimes it still is depending on what I'm drawing. Like there's always clothing you're not used to. Um, but I always look at a reference. This whole sketchbook spread, I am always looking at references. I, ju I just look up Pinterest. I type in jackets or fall jackets, and I find some references there. And um, don't I don't know. I, I usually don't do anything super, super um, exact to the reference sometimes in, in the terms of like clothing folds. I feel like that's probably one of the hardest things about drawing clothing is that every type of material will fold and move and sit on a person a different way. And so sometimes um, I'm not doing like the exact folds that are on the photo, but um, kind of giving the illusion of the same thing. Um, and so lots of, uh, you can see in the folds that I draw, I'm doing lots of like squiggly outlines that, you know, I try not to make everything a straight line because that's going to be, unless it's like really, really stiff fabric. For the most part, you want to do some free flowing lines. And then I do these like squiggles or like loops to in indicate a folding of the fabric. Um as kind of my quick cheat sheet for <laughs> making that a fold. Um, and obviously these, a lot of these are just like straight on perspectives, but try to find references that are like people in different like uh, poses or movements um, to help you understand more of, you know, the shape of a piece of clothing or just to get you used to looking at different angles of a person. I also think it's helpful to, you know, feel confident drawing people in general. Um, because if you understand what's underneath the clothing, then it's easier to draw what's over, <laughs> um, the person, like the actual clothing. Um, and so I think that's why I think clothing is very challenging for a lot of people because it is like these layers of not only cloth, but also the human underneath it. So you have the anatomy underneath all of these different materials and fabrics and stuff. So um, that's why I think clothing can be hard, but just like with anything, practice, 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 use references, draw from life. Like if you're sitting around with your friends, like whip out a sketchbook, draw them in whatever they're wearing and however they're sitting, you know, um, and just, yeah, keep, keep practicing. Like I said, these little sketches here are not like, and in general, I think my art is not, I'm not trying to be as realistic as possible. Um, but this is kind of my style and my way of drawing clothes. And so if you are looking for more tips and tricks on drawing clothing or people or anything like that, let me know because I'd love to do like a full length video on that at some point. Um, and so let me know if you have any specific questions about that or about my specific process shown here. Um, but yeah, these are my jackets that I drew and I hope you enjoyed uh, this little draw with me. I am continuing to make draw with me videos every single day this month. Um, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any and give this video a quick little like if you enjoyed it. And let me go ahead and pull the next prompt for tomorrow. And that is going to be mushrooms. Uh, so I will join you here tomorrow to draw some mushrooms. And in the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.